All right, so let's tackle one of these distance problems. All right, so we, in the setup, we discussed that, you know, from the, from the plane, we need a point on the plane and a normal vector. And then we, uh, we can calculate the projection, find the magnitude of the projection, we'll be in business. All right, so let's have a look. We know from the equation of the plane that our normal vector, looking at coefficients, is 2 minus 5 and 6. What's not quite so obvious from the equation is an equation, you know, we don't, we don't have a point. We don't have a point. Um, so how are we going to get a point on the plane? Well, the thing is, any point that satisfies the equation will do, right? Any point at all. So um, you can decide how you want to do this. Um, the simplest way to get a point is to set two of the three coordinates equal to zero, solve for the remaining one. So, for example, I could put x and y equal to zero, and then z would be 9 over 6, which is 3 over 2, 1.5 if you want. Um, I could put y and z equal to zero, and then x is 9 over 2, 4 over 5. Those work. Uh, maybe you'd rather not have decimals. If the decimals are bugging you, uh, then you've got to think a little bit harder. Um, but we can come up with one. And the first one that comes to mind for me, uh, 9 I could write as uh, 5 plus 4. So I could take um, 2 minus 1 and 0, right? Because um, if I do 2 times 2 plus 5 times minus 1 plus 6 times 0, that's going to be 4, or sorry, that's a minus 5. Yeah. Minus, minus 5, right? So 4 plus 5 plus 0 is 9. All right. So we have a point on the plane. Um, not the same one as in the, I think the book ends up with a decimal point. Doesn't matter. Um, we'll use this one because I think it's easier. All right. So that's our point uh, P naught. Right. So the next thing we need is we need this vector. Um, we'll call it W, which is from P naught to Q. Okay. So we do the usual head minus tail. Here's Q. Here's P naught. So two minus two, zero. One subtract minus one. So one plus one is two. And then 4, 4 minus 0, 4. OK? All right. So now we want the vector from R to Q. OK? So that's the projection of W onto N. So that is W dot n over n dot n times n, right? So here's my n, here's my w. So we've got uh, minus 10 plus 24, uh, 14. n dot n, it's a bit big, right? Um, it's doable. Uh, 6 squared is 36 plus 4, 40. I like that that's kind of, you know, a little bit rounder. Um, 5 squared is 25. 40 plus 25, uh, 65. Okay. So 14 over 65 times our normal vector. 2 minus 5 and 6. Okay. And so that means our, our distance, which is the magnitude of this vector, is going to be uh, 14 over 65 times the magnitude of n, which is just the square root of n dot n, so root 65. Um, and if you want to, you could write that as 14 over 
the square root of 65. Um, and yeah, I think that's about the best we can do with it. Um, that may look a little different from the answer in the textbook. I haven't checked the answer in the textbook, but uh, again, depending on some of the choices that you make, um, you'll get different numbers along the way. But the nice thing about the projection, right, is the sort of the, the perpendicular part of the vector is not going to be affected by what you choose for this particular point. Um, so you might get something that looks a little bit, little bit different um, in the intermediate steps but you should get the same vector here, right? Um, okay, so that's, the, uh, that's it, that's the whole story. We've got the distance. Uh, if we wanted to kind of take this a little bit further, I think we'll, we'll leave it here because that's all that the book really asked for. Um, but one of the things, again, that you might try to do from here is you might want to say, hey, I actually want to know what that point is. What is the closest point? Right? Uh, maybe you want to construct this, uh, the line that goes through them, or I don't know. Um, and, and of course, you can do that because you now have this vector, rq, right? And you have this vector, p0 to q. And so you can use that to get to the point r. In fact, you know, we could say, well, the um, one way to think about this is that the, the vector rq, if we think in terms of, I'll use lowercase for the position vectors, right? We do head minus tail, right? head minus tail. Um, and, and so then, if I wanted r, I could do um, q uh, minus rq, right? Just move that over, move that over. And so the point q, 2, 1, 4. And I subtract off my 14 over now, this is, you know, the, the subtraction there is a bit messy. I'm not going to, I think I'm not going to bother doing the arithmetic there at the end. We could pull out our calculators if we wanted to and clean that all up. Um, but you can do that subtraction. It'll give you the coordinates for that point R. And uh, you'd have that if for some reason you needed it.